Hi everyone, recently, I created these nebulas with Blender and rendered these scenes with the Evi Render Engine, and in this video I want to show you how to create something like this. These three objects are actually almost all we need. By pressing Alt-G you can return the location of this light to default. Change the power of the light to a small number, like 15 and change the color of the light. Now take a duplicate of this light. Change its color and make sure to turn off the shadow checkbox. Set background color to black and now let's make the nebula shader. Remove the principal BSDF and add a volume scatter. Now you can easily do what I do to create your own nebula. First add a geometry node. Now add two noise textures and connect the position in the geometry node to the vector in the noise texture. Now connect the color in the first noise texture to the second noise texture vector and now add a color ramp and connect the factor to the factor. Add a math node. Change this to multiply and change the value to a large number. Something like 400 or 450. Now duplicate the math node and this time change it to add and set the value to 1. Now connect this to density. As you can see, the current result is very bad. Change this to 0.56 and play with these numbers to get the desired result. Well, now we just need to add more lights with different colors and powers that will make our scene more beautiful. In the Render Properties section, in the settings for Volumetrics on Evi, active the Volumetric Shadows checkbox. Reduce this to 5 meters and if you want better resolution, reduce the tile size. Now I want to adjust the camera and find a good angle and location. Well, this result is not too bad, but we want something much better. First go back to the shader editor section, and add a value node. Now connect this to this. Now change the distribution to 0.7. To add more depth to the scene, add a new handle and move it closer to the black handle. Honestly, I don't like the color of my nebula, so I changed the color of the lights as well. Of course, it depends on you. Before you render the scene, you should consider that if you want to render an animation of the nebula scene, you need to increase the number of samples to very high numbers, because something like this can happen.
Before rendering, I want to add some stars to the scene that can make our scene more beautiful. Well, we rendered this scene and wow, this is really very beautiful. In the compositing section, we can make the result even better. First, add to glare nodes and play with their settings. As you can see, the scene changed a little. The second node that can help you in such scenes is the hue saturation value, which of course is important how to use it, because just as it can improve your scene, it can also ruin it. And the last node, that can be very useful, is the color balance node. This is my favorite node in the compositing section. Just play a little with its settings and you will see, how much it can change the scene and make it beautiful. Well, the video is over. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.